So I'm Councillor Carl Johnson, I am the Cabinet Member for Environment and Transport at North Tyneside Council. So today we're on our new seafood cycle route which runs from the end of Time of Front Street along to the Dome in Whitley Bay. What that does is hands one lane over from traffic to be used for cycling. That allows the conflict on the existing path to be reduced so pedestrians get the existing path on this themselves. Cyclists get to use the new area. We're introducing the schemes in our town centres to give more space for social distancing and to give travellers the confidence to return to those town centres. So in Whitley Bay, Walls End and North Shields Fish Key. We've handed over an area of what is currently road use over to the cyclists and pedestrians to allow them more space to shop in those areas and use it better. These areas are all areas A, firstly of high levels of footfall and cycle fall, so there's an existing conflict on the coastal cycle path all the way along the coast where pedestrians and cyclists are on the same road. Um, it's the National Cycle Network, which is around on our behalf, so we wanted to remove that conflict and give space to other cyclists so they can be segregated from the road and pedestrians so they can have the, the whole path to themselves. Um, in our town centres we've noticed that we want to inspire confidence and shoppers to return to those areas. Football, ha football has been down since the start of lockdown, of course, in our town centres. This is a measure that we hope will give people confidence that they can come back to town centres and shop safely. We introduced these as an experimental traffic regulation order, which means that when we introduce them, consultation continues all the way through. We are going to, as this, we see this in the evolving project, if issues arise, we will absolutely solve those issues as we go through the project. But these are temporary just to allow for social distancing and for extra confidence in our shoppers when we return to those areas at the moment. These cones and bars are not here to stay. These cones and bars will be replaced by orcas and wands as we go forward in the further round schemes. Those schemes are much more visually appealing and in keeping with our glorious coastline which we spend millions of pounds to regenerate to get visitors to come to. So we don't want to ruin the coastal landscape. We want to be keep cyclists safe, keep pedestrians safe and also make it visually appealing. So I'm Jonah Morris, I'm the Partnerships Manager for the North East and Cumbria Business Roads. Um, so this shared use path forms part of the National Cycle Network Route 1, which goes all the way from Dover to the Shetland Isles. Um, by moving cyclists from the path onto what was the road, reduces the conflict between pedestrians and cyclists. We know that cyclists have, um, people returning to cyclists, cycling have issues with safety, um, so giving them a safe space to cycle um, gets more people out on bikes. It's been fantastic, there's cyclists going up and down. It's, it's going to be a, a a major improvements um, for cycle provision along the coast.